Hi there. Here's a short topic video to bring you up to speed with the emergence of two new key development banks. The Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank, or AIIB, is led by the Chinese and was launched in 2015. So the AIIB is designed to raise hundreds of billions of dollars to finance railways, ports and other key development projects. AIIB will also play a growing role in fostering regional economic integration, hopefully causing a rise in intra-regional trade and investment within the Asian economy. Initially, it'll be around $100 billion of capital to provide financing of 12 to 15 times this amount as the capital of the new AIIB is leveraged. There's going to be around 40 founding members of the AIIB, including the United Kingdom and also Russia, Taiwan, South Korea, Germany, Brazil and Australia. But no official representation yet from, from the United States, who are a little bit suspicious that the IAB will be a kind of vehicle for increasing Chinese dominance in the Asian region. China basically set about building the AIIB because it was frustrated by a lack of relative influence at the World Bank, which is a US-dominated institution, and also the Asian Development Bank, where Japan is a major force. So the AIIB should be thought of in terms of the development of the new maritime and land routes between China and Asia, otherwise known as the New Silk Road. Another development bank to think about is the BRICS New Development Bank. Now this new development bank was launched in Shanghai in July 2015. The key aim of the BRICS Development Bank is to lend money to developing countries to help finance their core capital infrastructure projects. Again, similar to AIIB, the New Development Bank is regarded as, a, as an alternative, for like a competitor to the World Bank and also to the IMF. The New Development Bank starts out with an initial capital of 50 billion, uh, although they're hoping to double that amount in the coming years. And again, China, which is the second biggest economy in the world, has the largest foreign exchange reserves. They're going to be the biggest contributor to the New Development Bank. NDB will be headed by a rotating leadership starting with India, but it will be headquarters, headquartered in Shanghai in China. So the AIIB and the BRICS New Development Bank. These are two important new development banks it's worth keeping your eye on as part of your studies and revision on globalization. Both of them potentially in time might threaten the influence of the World Bank and the International Monetary Fund. Development banks are a key feature of the changing landscape of globalisation and well worth keeping an eye on.